Mefanya maajabu na mi siwezi kueleza eh hey. siwezi kueleza siwezi kueleza Mefanya maajabu na mi siwezi kueleza Amefa Nyamacha Amefanya maajabu Amefanya maajabu Na mi siwezi kueleza Siwezi kueleza Siwezi kueleza Amefanya maajabu Na mi siwezi kueleza Amefanya maajabu Basi tufungue Mark Mariko Tano Read Mark chapter 5 We'll read verse 1 to 6 and skip to read uh, verse 17 to 20. I encourage you to read that entire of that chapter. It is a continuation of what we read. Last week we read Mark chapter 4. We read Mark chapter 4 from verse 35 to 41. The Bible says, they went across the lake, the lake to the region of Gerasarines. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. The man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. He had often being chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the, the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough, enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out, cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus, he fell Sorry, when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. Let's go to verse 17. The Bible says, Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him, but said, Go home. To your own people and tell them how much the Lord has sorry uh, tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you so the man went away and began to tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and all the people were amazed Praise the Lord. So we continue with our sermon of uh, last week. I suppose by God's grace, you should be able to finish today. Let us go to the other side. Praise the Lord. Na kama vile nilitangulia kusema, tulisoma madayo ine mstari wa 35 hadi 41. And the Bible says that Jesus told, when evening came, the Bible starts like that. When evening came, Jesus told his disciples, let us go over to the other side. And uh, we realize that in as far as the, the calendar of God is concerned, evening comes before morning. Evening comes first. Praise the Lord. So, the Bible tell, told us, as soon as they started the journey, of crossing to the other side, a furious storm 
came to oppose them. And water started hindering their boats. And it almost, almost sank. And the disciples cried or shouted to Jesus, Don't you care that we perish? Help us. One Jesus if you and Jesus rebuked the wind and there was calm in the sea. There was calm in that leg. When I says fear. So we say it for us as a church. The Lord has spoken to us and he has told us that in the remaining part of the year and also as we usher in another church year because by the end of this month we are going to celebrate our third anniversary. So we are entering into our fourth year and the Lord said it will be a good year of increase, a good year of plenty, a good year of more than enough, a good year of abundance. Praise the Lord. But I said every other time you purpose within your heart that I am tired of where I am. I want to advance to another level. I want to move. The devil will always want to resist. Praise the Lord. Before Jesus told the disciples, let us go to the other side. There was no storm. There was no opposition. Everything was okay. Na ndio maana tukasema kama utataka kukaa mahali ulipo kama utatosheka na hali yako ya sasa shetani hana shida na wewe If you would want to have to, re, to, to remain in your status quo the devil does not have a problem with you Lakini ule wakati utasema sasa nimekuwa kijana nimechoka ninataka sasa kuamini Mungu niingie katika ndoa hapo shetani anaona ho huyu mtu anataka kusonga analeta pingamizi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nimekaa kwa hii kazi kwa muda mrefu Nimekaa kwa hii hali kwa muda mrefu Nataka kujinyosha nisonge ile hatua nyingine Hapo ndio shetani anaanza pingamizi kwa sababu yeye apendi tukiendelea Praise the Lord But the Bible says Something very important had happened to the disciples. Wakati Yesu Kristo aliwaambia na tufuke pande ile nyingine. Biblia inasema na wakamchukua vile alivyokuwa. Alikuwa amechoka. Wakamchukua wakaingia kwa eh meli yao kwanza kuelekea upande ule mwingine. And immediately Jesus entered the boat. He slept. Now because Jesus was with them in the boat even when a storm rose against them they overcame. Angalia ndani yako mwambie kwa sababu Yesu ako ndani yako. Hata dhoruba ikija usiongope utashinda. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndiyo tuliona kitu ya maana sana ya kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na Yesu pamoja nasi katika maisha yetu katika njamii zetu katika biashara zetu muuzishe Yesu kila asubuhi ukiamuka mwambie Yesu naenda kazini sijui mambo yatakuwaje lakini henda pamoja nami Yesu Kristo ninapolea watoto hawa sijui watakuwa namna gani lakini nakualika tembea pamoja nami kama dhoruba itatokea Yesu Kristo atakemea na kuharibu dhoruba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio siri yetu kama kanisa. Kwetu sisi kuweza kuvuka upe ule mwingine. Kwetu sisi kuweza kushinda tutatembea pamoja na Yesu Kristo. Na tukitembea pamoja na Yesu Kristo mambo yote itakuwa ni sawa. So kama shetani ataleta pingamizi and you know <laughs> the devil is acha uh, uh, what, what can we call a person who is so nagging can you call them anaga or something 
imagine immediately I, after I, I, I preached this uh, message there is someone who was ter- terribly used by the devil to discourage me I was you know I got a very bad news about something that I, not, I don't want to say in this altar and the Lord reminded me it is the resistance you are talking about so rebuke with the devil for some time I didn't have peace but I rebuked the devil and the Lord reinstated my peace praise the Lord kwa hivyo ukipata pingamizi elewa vizuri unasonga mbele usipopata pingamizi you should be you should be worried because the devil is not threatened of you hakuna kitu uko nacho kinatisha shetani lakini kama unasonga mbele na kuna kitu ndani yako kinatisha shetani pingamizi itatokea lakini kama Yesu Kristo hako pamoja nasi tutashinda praise the lord we will make it so we said uh, three things are very important for us to get to the other side we said number one, we should always rely on the holy spirit to determine or help us understand our battles vita vingine usipo usipo jua roho mtakatifu asipo kusaidia kujua njinzi ya kupigana vita utaanza kufikiria mwanadamu mwenzako ndio 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 mtapigana vita ndio maana unaona watu wana 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 kosana kosana especially wakati eh, changamoto ya maisha inakuwa unapata unaona bwana wako ndio shida mke wako ndio shida mtoto wako ndio shida mtu aliye karibu nawe ndio shida i want you to know and i said this last sunday if you do not deal with the devil you can exchange this man with another man but the devil is a spirit he will still hand the other man praise the lord if you do not realize that your battle is with the devil you will let go this business and start another one but the devil is a spirit he will still go into the other business so we ought to be smart enough to re- to see the devil in the inside of the people and say like Jesus get behind me satan when is this fear eh kuna watu wanasemanga shetani imekuonea 18 eh nilikuona kitambo unaweza kuja kupitia mume wangu lakini nakuona unaweza kuwa unataka kunifunja mo- moyo kupitia huyu mkubwa wangu kazini lakini najua si yeye ni wewe bwana majeshi asifiwe so tukiongozwa na roho mtakatifu atatufunza njizi ya kupigana vita atutapiga wanandamu vita tutapigana na ndugu yetu shetani bwana asifiwe tukasema ya kwamba ni lazima tuhakikishe Yesu Kristo hako pamoja nasi we must ensure that we walk together with Jesus because it is Jesus who comes to our rescue when we are in trouble bwana asifiwe leo hii tuki nikishiko na jambo hii siwezi kusaidiwa na mtu hajakuja kanisani leo wale watu wako hapa ndio watanisaidia bwana asifiwe tukitembea na Yesu atatusaidia kwa sababu atakuwa pale tukimuita bless the lord and, and so that is what we said that we should trust in god to enable us to walk with jesus sema ambayo tumesema tumesoma sorry biblia inasema na wakafuka ngambo hile nyingine so that is a very good encouragement that we will make it to the other side despite the opposition praise the lord angalia mtu mwambie tuta tutasonga mpaka ngambo ile nyingine hata kama vita vitakuwa vingi tutafika bwana yesu asifiwe they cross to the other side and that tells you that the devil did not want them to move there because something good was awaiting them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
I get encouraged because the Bible says, a righteous man may fall seven times, but they shall rise up again. I'm not talking about falling into sin so that kama kuna thambi na kusumbua, uzianza kujitia moyo, ukesema siyafikisha saba. Ambia mwenza kwa siyo kuanguka katika thambi. Ni kuangushwa na majaribu. Kuangushwa na mitego. Kwa na SSV. Umejaribu hii biyashara, haifanyi. Unajaribu tena, haisongi. Unajaribu kusistisa mtoto watie bidi. Mtoto hawe na nidhamu njema. Unaona ni kama ni kama tu ingekuwa vizuri kama ungesema kitu. Kwa sababu hakuna matokeo yanaonekana. Unaweza kujaribu mara hata saba. Na ushindwe. Lakini utashinda. Bwana majeshi asifiwe. Praise the Lord. The people who have invented great things went through a lot of many trials try to make things work and they did not make it. And you finally because they did not give up things turned around for them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mle mtu alitengeneza the bulbs that we use. Hizi mata alijaribu mara 99 akijaribu kuona kama anaweza kutengeneza taa ya stima mara 99 haikufanya kazi mara ya mia moja ndio iliwaka bwana Jesus fi hebu jiulize kama ungekuwa na huo ufumilifu because about this project is useless to hell with it But that guy because of his perseverance because of his persistence tuna tunaweza kufinya baton hivi na mwangaza unaingia bwana majeshi asifiwe sasa biblia inasema ya kwamba kwa sababu ya hawa wanafunzi pamoja na Yesu hawakukata tamaa waliweza kuvuka pande ile nyingine and i want you i want to declare to you you'll make it safely to the other side Because Jesus is with you and because you have the determination you have what it takes to go to the other side. But something spectacular is here that hata baada ya kufuka pande ile nyingine ungefikiria tu wangepokelewa na mema. Ungefikiria wange pokelewa na kuambiwa karibuni karibuni at least you have make it you bend it welcome and have some rest the bible says they were met by a mad person a demon possessed person and the possession was so terrible that hata akifungwa nyororo alikuwa anafunja hata akifungwa kwa chuma kwa miguu alikuwa anangoa anafunja na biblia inasema ya kwamba hakuna mtu angeweza kumudhibiti hakuna mtu angeweza kumsaidia na kila siku alilia kule makaburini kila siku alilia kule mulimani akitafuta mtu wa kumsaidia hakupata jamaa huyu alikuwa amejawa na maroho machafu ambaye maroho imetoka kwa mtu mmoja yakaingia nguruwe elfu mbili na zote zikashikwa na wanda wazima so angalia huyu mtu alikuwa ana mta gani <laughs> eh wanda wazima wa mtu kicho moja tu ya mtu ilitoka ikaingia kwa nguruwe elfu mbili bwana yesesfe but because god is a great god What men were unable to do he did it. The deliverance that men were unable to give Jesus gave it. And that is why the Bible says it is not by power it is not by might but by the spirit of the living God. That is why we must ensure that Jesus is together with us. That is why we must ensure that the Holy Spirit is together with us. Because 
whatever men have been unable to do when we are with Christ we shall make it whatever our families I don't know whether you come from families that have had history families that have had boundaries ya kwamba kwenu muliambiwa hamwezi kupita kiwango hiki kwenu muliambiwa hamwezi kufikia kiwango kile I want you to know that you can be the first person to break that record you can be the first person to make a difference when Jesus is together with you praise the lord so mtu huyu hata ingawaje aliishi maisha ya tabu hata ingawaje aliishi maisha ya thiki Yesu Kristo alimsaidia ngeokea mtu mwambie sijui hali yako lakini jambo moja ninajua Yesu Kristo atakusaidia Bwana Yesu asifiwe So this guy got helped This guy got delivered Na muda tu alipopata msaada badala ya watu kufurahia walianza kuhesabu hasara ya nguruwe Wakamwambia Yesu Kristo tafadhali ondoka huko kwa sababu unatuletea hasara Bwana sifiwe ningependa kujue ufanisi wako unasumbua watu Bwana sifiwe kuendelea kwako hakuna akuleti amani kwa kila mtu Your progress is a threat to the businesses of some people Your well being your welfare is a great threat to the kingdom of the devil And that is why I say it is good brothers and sisters not to put our hope and our trust in men. Kwa sababu wanadamu watatuchoka. Utaweza kufikiria huyu mtu ni rafiki yako kwa sababu anakupenda. Kuna kile kitu ameona ndani yako. Akiona mambo yako inaenda vizuri kuliko ya yake. Atawachana na wewe. These guys had always seen this man demon possessed bound and not getting help Badala ya kuamini kusema ya kwamba at least amesaidika Mungu atatusaidia tupate nguruwe wengine Mungu atatusaidia tupate mali nyingine Alimwambia Yesu tuondokee tafadhali Bwana majeshi asifiwe Ambia jirani yako weka imani yako katika Mungu. Wanadamu hawata kusaidia. Wanadamu watachoka. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that those that trust in the Lord they are like Mount Zion. They shall never be shaken. Praise the Lord. So this means that even when we go to the other side we may still get opposition but there is a great revelation that i want you to know that even though this guy was demon possessed he was a servant of god when is free unajua kuna mambo mengi ambayo hutokea katikati ya kuzaliwa kwetu na kwetu sisi kufikia pande ile nyingine There are a lot of messes. A lot of interferences that come between the time that we are born and the time we are finally unveiled. Don't be so much bothered with that interference. Just know that there at the beginning God had a good plan for you and he has a good plan for you to finish smart. When is this fair? Look at your neighbor tell them don't mind of your current state. Look at the other and finisher of your life. And look at where you are going. Because this guy the devil knew that he was a man on mission. The devil knew that he is a man that God would use. And so he filled him 
with all sorts of demons so that he will not fulfill the plan of God. I am here to declare to you, you will fulfill the purposes and the plans of God. Everything that God has ordained for you, it shall come to pass. It will not scare, it will, I will, I will, the Lord will not mind of how many obstacles you go through. You will make it. When he says, fear. God spoke very powerfully about Jacob. But Jacob for a very long time, he was on the run. Every other time he worked for his father-in-law and his father-in-law would not be faithful to what they agreed. And Jacob says, 20 times he changed my salary. He changed my agreement. Tumekubaliana hivi. Anabandilisha. 20 times. But when it was time for Jacob to be unveiled. When I say, Laban ran to frustrate his mission. But the Bible says God appeared to him in a dream and told him, never say anything, whether good or bad, to Jacob. When he says, Fear. He could not be resisted. And I am here to tell you, even though you have gone through a lot of resistance, God is unfailing you and nothing will resist you. Even though if he had Esau, alifikiria Esau, vile nilimdanganya, bado ananingojea aniumize. But when he met Esau, God had dealt with him. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo, wapendwa tusitishwe na vile mambo yako sasa. Tukumbuke mpango mungu alio kuwa nayo mwanzoni. Na tumuamini hao kamilishi. This guy was a person that God wanted to use. The Bible says, immediately after the guy was delivered, he requested Jesus to follow him. He requested to be allowed to follow Jesus. And the Bible says, Jesus told him, no. Go to your people and tell them how many things God has done to you. Go to your people and tell them the great things that he has done for you. The Bible says that this guy went preaching in the area of Decapolis. And so many people were amazed. Praise the Lord. So what happened? This guy who was demon possessed was a person that God had prepared to go and preach to that site. When I says fear. Yep, when I says fear. What am I saying? On your way to the other side, God will send you helpers. God will send you people who will make you to achieve things that you could not achieve. Jesus did not go to Decapolis. It is this guy who went to preach there. The disciples did not go to the Decapolis. It is this guy who was demon possessed who went to accomplish that mission. When he says, I am here to tell you, you need only one person in your life. And that person will change you around. When he says, that person will change you around. And that is the person that God is going to send to you if you fail to give up on him. When it says fear. But I want you to know that the identity of this person may not be as good as you think. When it says fear. Kama ingekuwa ni mtu wa kawaida, angekuwa na shuguli na yu mtu, angesema ni mwendo wazimu. But Jesus knew that this is the person that I need to take the gospel to the other side. This is the person that I need to help me fulfill my mission in the region of Decapolis. Praise the Lord. I want to say this in summary. In summary, to successfully go to the other side of our destiny, 
we must observe the following. To successfully go to the other side of our destiny, we must observe the following. Number one, we must ensure that Jesus is together with us in the boat. Praise the Lord. And we say the boat is your life. We must ensure that whatever we do, wherever we go, we go with Jesus. But it's his fear. Wapendwa, tusiwache Jesu kanzani. Usimwache Jesu nyumbani. Be with Jesus wherever you go. It is because Jesus was with, with the disciples that the storm did not destroy them. So ensure that you have Jesus in the boat. Number two, <clears throat> ensure that you have faith that dispels any kind of fear. Ensure that you have faith that dispels or uh, sends away any kind of fear. You see, katika maisha haya ni lazima tutapata vitu vya kututisha. Katika maisha haya tutapata vitu vya kuongovia. Bwana majeshi asifiwe. Lakini Yesu Kristo aliuliza wanafunzi wa wake. Amuna imani. Bona mnaongopa njinzi hiyo. Unajua kuongopa ni kitu rahisi na ni kitu ya kawaida. Mwanadamu akipitia hali ya matisho ataongopa. Mwanadamu akipitia hali ambaye hana uhakika ataongopa. Lakini imani yetu ni ngao inayolinda mishale yote kutoka kwa shetani. So ensure that you have faith. Praise the Lord. Ensure that you have it may not be much faith but you can tell Jesus like the guy who had alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa na kifafa alimwambia Yesu nimejaribu yangu yote nisaidie kuamini because Jesus told him if only you believe help me in my unbelief and Jesus helped him so ensure that you have faith praise the lord number three. resist and wage war against the devil and any hindrance to your victory resist and wage war against the devil and any hindrance to your victory piga na vita pambana na shetani usikue mtu wa jambo la kushusha moyo ikifika unajisulu watu hawa wanafunzi hawa walipatana na dhuruba katika bahari hawakufa moyo Walipo shuka tu upande ule mwingine wakapatana mwendo wazimu hawakuongopa hawakutoroka Yesu Kristo pamoja na wao walipigana vita na hivyo wakafuka upande ile nyingine Bwana isifiwe Ukisoma Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 inaongea kuhusu the weapons of war Kwa hizo silaha zote hakuna silaha ya nyuma kuna chepeo ya wokofu. Kuna breastplate of righteousness. Kuna ngao ya imani. Kuna mshipi wa haki. Kuna viatu vya matayarisho ya kuumbilia wengine. Na kuna upanga wa roho mtakatifu. Ambaye ni neno la Mungu. Sasa ukingeuka hivi you are destroyed because none of those weapons are at the back. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo sisi ni wale wa kupambana mpaka tupokee ushindi. We cannot show the devil our back because there we shall have trouble. Praise the Lord. Finally, identify the person or the people that God is sending your way to help you. Bwana sifiwe. Mara nyingi tumezuia watu kwa sababu hatujui ndio Mungu ametuma. Identify the person or the people that God is sending sending away to help you. Bwana majeshi asifiwe. 
baina ya watu ambao wamekuwa wa msaada sana katika kanisa hili awange pendeka mwanzoni awaku mtu hange fikiria wangekuwa wa msaada kwa sababu kila kitu chote ambacho ni chema huwa kimefunikwa bwana yesu baina ya watu ambao Mungu atakutletea hawatakaa kama ni wao bwana yesu sifiwe hebu angalia njitani mwambie uenda ni mimi na zikai kama ni, ni mimi unatarajia baina ya watu ambao Mungu atakuletea Praise the Lord. You know uh, some of the testimonies that we have here are very personal. There are people who could not be received in any church because according to the standards of the church then they were sinful. But when the Lord helped us to guide them and embrace them and teach them the truth they have become the very people that everybody enemies when is fear usione tu mtu amesimama hapa akihubiri neno ufikiria alizaliwa akihubiri neno usione mtu amesimama hapa akatuelekeza katika maombi akatuelekeza katika kumsifu akatuelekeza katika kuabudu ukafikiria ukafikiria alizaliwa vile some of them could not be accepted in any church Because like this gentleman they were demon possessed but god looked through and saw their value and made them what they are today when is his fear the very first evangelism uh, sorry the very first evangelist who was who was the person the samaritan woman she was himoro woman hata biblia inasema wakati wanafunzi walitoka kununua mikate unashiriki sasa Yesu anaongea na nani sasa huko mwalimu zikuingiza zingine anatoibisha anga sana aliona tu apitia hapa na huyo mama amekuja kuchota maji mchana kwa sababu ya aibu but jesus knew that in this unfaithful woman there is an evangelist Praise the Lord In the person that we cannot see there is a great man and woman of God If only you would open yourself as this woman opened herself and said If you have better water than the one that I have give it to me so that I will not thirst anymore When is it inaweza kuwa yule mtu Mungu anakutumia ili akusaidie kufuka upande ule mwingine ni mtu kwa sasa atambuliki na watu kwa sababu ya tabia zake that woman went all over telling people come and see and through her so many people came to Christ bwana yesu spirit praise the lord Philip the disciple of Jesus met someone who was not a Jew he was an Ethiopian eunuch he was trying to read the book of Isaiah loudly on the way riding on his chariot and Philip asked him do you understand what you are saying the guy said how can i understand if someone does not explain to me and philip explained everything as i was saying that it was about jesus the messiah and the guy gave his life to the lord jesus the guy was filled with the holy ghost the guy went preaching into ethiopia maybe that is why we are born again today because ethiopia is our neighbor into Ethiopia even though he was not acceptable at the point that he met Philip ask your neighbor who are the people that God is bringing to you and you cannot see them
there was a very important person in the ministry of Jesus. Her name was Mary Magdalene. She's the only person on earth who blessed Jesus with a perfume worth a salary of a whole year. Mama moja tu hakufana fundraising kama sisi. Akambariki Yesu na manukato mpaka eh Judas akashtuka. Hasema ni stungeuza. He would have given us a lot of money. And Jesus said, she has done that in preparation for my burial. This is the same Jesus. Sorry, the same woman. When the disciples came, she's the, the first person who went to the grave after Jesus resurrected and found that he was not there. Na kaenda kawaambia wanafunzi mwalimu ayuko. Walikimbia tu akaona na wakarudi. Peter and John, the, the chief apostles. He's not there. So But the whole man stayed there crying until Jesus came. What kind of a woman was this? She was a prostitute before. The Bible says that Jesus had cast seven demons of prostitution out of her. Siku moja Yesu Kristo alialikwa na Simon. Mwingine sio Peter. Simon akasema kama huyo mtu ni, ni nabii wa Mungu vile tunasikianga. Angejua huyu mama anamkaribia hivi. Ni msherati. Angejua huyu mama si mtu mzuri. Jesus said, I know. But inside her there's something more important that I am after. Bless the Lord. What am I saying? At times the people that God is bringing to you to to help you. They have nothing. That is why Paul says we make so many people rich even though we look poor. But it is fear. There are people who don't find rest because they move from one church to the other. Because they are looking for great men. They are great looking for powerful people. Kumbe their destiny is tied on a simple man of God. And God only wants to check their obedience. God only wants to check their submission to this humble servant of God and their lives will be turned around. The gospel reached the capolis because Jesus did not see a madman. He saw an evangelist. Don't look at me for who I am. Don't look at your neighbor for who they are. They could be God sent. And some of these people you will have to work on them for them to become the helper that they were meant to be. Jesus had to work on the Samaritan woman to become the evangelist who will take the gospel to Samaria. Jesus had to work on the Ethiopian eunuch so that the gospel may reach Ethiopia. Jesus had to work on Mary Magdalene even though she was a prostitute so that the gospel of the kingdom may be preached. And he had to work on this demon possessed man so that the gospel may reach the capolis. Rise upon your feet. We will get in conclusion we will get to the other side but there is wisdom that is required we will get to the other side but there is wisdom that is required to apply if jesus did not apply the wisdom of god he would have missed out these people go before the lord Enda mbele sababu anamwambia kusaidie. Ukaelewe jinsi 
ya kufuka upande ule mwingine. Ukaelewe njinzi ya kupokea kile ambacho Mungu amekuwekea. Ukaelewe kwa sababu usipoelewa utapitwa. Usipoelewa utashangaa watu wengine huwa wanafanikiwa lakini mimi mimi sielewi. Oh sheketele bela ri tembola rale kalenda rababo seta. Ninakusifu Yesu kwa maana wewe ni mwema. Ninakusifu Yesu kwa maana mpango wako kwangu ni mwema. Bwana nakushukuru kwa kila mpendo ambaye amefika katika kanisa hili katika ibada yetu. Hawa ndio watu ambao ulikusudia wawe. Wengine labda hakuna mtu anawatambua. Wengine labda hakuna mtu anawadhamini. Lakini Mungu ninajua they are great and important treasures in their life. And Lord God Almighty you are going to bring them to pass. Be thou magnified our Father. Be thou glorified our God. Ni wewe Ni wewe Ni wewe Ni wewe Bwa himba ni wewe Ni wewe Ni wewe Ni langu ni wewe ni wewe ni wewe ni wewe msaada wangu ni wewe ni wewe Ninao mkono wako mbele za Bwana na useme Mungu wangu nakubali nataka kufuka upande ule mwingine nisaidie nikashinde changamoto za maisha nisaidie nikatambue wale ambao umeniwekea ili wakanisaidie kufanikiwa wenda ikawa kwa sasa siwatambui lakini nisaidie hili nikawatambue jina lako lisifiwe jina lako litukuke unaponishika mkono thank you holy father in jesus name i pray Pigie bana hizi makofu. Labda uko hapa na ungelipenda kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu Kristo. It's a such a good thing to give our lives to the Lord. Show has by a sign of your hand. All right, tuketi kwa ufupi.